Mike Watson in the cutoff. Queens starts the hand with 15 bigs, does not move all in. And a steamer. Thinking about folding? <laughs> no, I'm just thinking that, you know, inevitably all the chips are going in and it's a race Mike Watson will need to win to survive. But if a steamer loses it, he's not got that yeah. much. He'll do a lot of damage to him. For sure. So he shoves. Let's see if the blinds wake up with anything. Nope. Action back on Sir Watts, who calls Queens against Ace King. If Queens hold, Mike Watson doubles up. If Ace King gets there, Mike Watson will be KO'd. And it is a King high flop. There's now a 91% chance that we lose Mike Watson. Same outs needed. The last two remaining Queens. 5% chance of survival. Lady Luck. Oh, Lady Luck. Yes, gets there. Lady uh, Luck. Yeah. Bikes the queen, spikes the two outer, yeah. and Mike Watson survives. Queen Jack of Diamonds for the Mad Dog. And Ace King for Arunas. Sap it at Vicious. More than a 3x. Mike shove. Watson does not oh, shove. Okay. Oof. There's a lot of big but boy chips. It does look scary when that oh, whole gosh. stack of greens goes in. And we got 1.5 million in the middle pre-flop. King high, two diamonds. The poker gods are sick. Top pair, top kicker, tiny continuation bet. One fifth pot. And Mad Dog's loving this. Yeah, that's small. Be nutted if you want to be. I'm just trying to hit a diamond at this point. Thank you for giving me such a nice price. Yeah. Let's see what the poker gods have in store on the turn. It is a deuce. Pairing the board. And we're back to more serious bets. This one around a third of the size of the pot. And yeah, Mike, I think is going to come to the right conclusion here, which is I could be up against kings here. And this, this is, is a pretty good price, but the board's paired now. Oh, but he's doing it anyway. Mike wants to see the river. I mean, the thing is, too, though, is that he, the, all the, there's so many more combos of ace king. Drills it. So your flush is live. You're getting the price. Queen high flush for Mike Watson. This is how you win big tournaments. Neither player with a pot size you bet fight. left behind. How do you play this with Ace King? Surely you know that Mike Watson is going to have some flush draws, right? I mean, maybe you want to just play this as a check fold. Check all in. No, you do. You shoved, yeah. There's the all in. I can't really check fold. Mike it's Watson, I want the value double the checks Kings. and calls. That's it for the Joker. Arunas Sapinovicius, shell shocked. Pocket tens, deece deece. Well, Soma has opened with the tens. Mike Watson has jacks in the small. Wait, what just happened? Did they say? There was some sort of chat. I'm not sure if Mike intended to raise. Oh. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. And accidentally just called, but we are going to go heads up to the flop, and it is a domination situation. Well. And that is a dangerous flop for Arno Ensemble. Oh, Two man. overs to the board, but Mike Watson still with the better hand and a nine to one favorite here. He's checked it. Yeah, regardless of you know what happened there pre-flop or what Watson's intention was in terms of calling versus three betting, <laughs> there's not a whole lot for Ansam to feel scared about with this board. Looks like he wasn't trying to three bet. People have noticed he just didn't quite put out enough okay, for the call, but okay. even still this is headed for disaster for on some. 
This is the last hand of the level. We've ticked into the break. The question is, will this be Arno Ensemble's last hand at the final table? Even though Watson didn't put out enough chips to make the three bet pre, Ensemble knows that his intention was to re-raise. No, I don't think he was trying to re-raise. I think he just didn't put out enough for a call. Well, he's going to check raise this flop. 375,000 has become 875,000. Beating, you know, ace nine suited. That would call from the small blind and perhaps check raise here with top pair, top kicker to deny equity to two overs. A lot for Ansam to think about facing this raise. Hi, morning. Ansam shoves and Mike Watson yeah, Watson doesn't love this because Ansam could have all of the bigger pairs that have Jack's beat, but could also have some nut flush draws as well. Mike Watson makes the call and is in a great spot here. A nine to one favorite to eliminate Arno Ansam. 90%. Ensemble is going to need to spike a 10. The turn card is the king of hearts. One time, huh? Leaving Arno Ensemble with two outs, and the one time has been invoked. How many lives does the cool cat have? It's a six. Arno Ensemble is eliminated in sixth place. So with these figures, playing for 33, these are your numbers. <laughs> that works. That's fine. I think that works. Well. Yeah. Well, this seems like the okay. easiest well, deal in guys. history. Let's go. I'll go with just the numbers. Short toilet. Congrats. Sure. Yeah. yeah, just two young gentlemen chopping up 300k in under 60 seconds. That's the nature of uh, high stakes poker in a nutshell. Welcome to Monte Carlo. Yes. Yeah, and so what's picking up a semi premium in the big blind here? Very powerful in heads up poker. King Queen off. After Mauer calls, Watson raises from the big blind to 1 million. Three million. And I was just Ooh. about to say Ooh. this tank. I mean, this is this is a bit more the the gross dog that I know and love. Finding the aggression time and time again. Raises to three million, a three bet. And looks just looks so strong, doesn't it, Sam? Yeah, I mean, King Queen shriveling up just a little bit. Just a bit. The hands that, that do this for value. Obviously going to continue. But now out of position, see what happens. This hand needs Mathis. 6.2 million in the pot. Oh, it's queen high. Yes, and the downside to this uh, limp re-raise is that you strengthen to what's range and this queen shriveling in value a little bit. Two spades out there and the six spades in hand. Or do we want to check back our worst queen and just make sure that we only play this hand for two streets? And Mike Watson, a very savvy individual. Think on that check, check. He's going to be aware that King Queen goes up very greatly in value. There are obviously a huge number of straight draws, two flush draws. The nuts going to change on a lot of river cards, but we'll definitely, one would imagine, want to put some money in here. 3.7, Sam. 3.7. Bit less. Bit less, I think. 3.6. Oh! Absolutely oh, drills but, it. But you, you, that, uh, that's credit to you. You, you, and, you and the mad dog in sync. <laughs> We're so in sync right now. Got a call with a 10-8 suited there, million, buddy. Yep, uh, makes the call. 3.6, yeah, half, boom. Okay. But wanting to make it look like, okay, do I have an ace-king or an ace-jack? Giving himself some flexibility. Uh, you know, not wanting to tip off his hand strength to Sir Watts. And a brick river would be very, very good for Mike Watts. Uh, Mike Watson here. He's got five and a half million behind. There's 13 and a half million in the middle. It is a brick river. Yeah, and shouldn't change too much. Shouldn't change too much. 5.45 million behind Watson. It may be that Sir Watts, has he got 5.5 .5 behind? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, could be all in time here for Mike Watson. King, queen, yeah, there we go. And it's on Leonard Mao with, oh, get snapped. Snap called. 
Snap cold, and that completely changes momentum. It's a three to one chip lead, Sam. Yeah, unbelievable. And the first time that Mad Dog makes a pair, it's a top pair, semi coolering his opponent who made the aggressive play with the queen six. The Grafton, 10 9 suited. Mike raises from the button, from the small blind. 650,000, which seems to be the standard open at this level. 4-3 off for Leonard. He calls. And we will see a flop. 10-7-5. Top pair for Mike. Action's been checked to him. Heads up when you're going to be opening a decent percentage of the time from the button. Obviously, the ranges are going to be a little bit wider. He's played one time bank chip so Three far. Million. Okay, he decides to check raise. Yeah, and I definitely can see, you know, the thought process behind this play because you're not going to have any showdown with four high. So if you're able to check raise here and get a fold out of Watson, this is gonna be a really nice pickup. But if you get called, of course, you do have some equity. And on certain turns, you would just shut down and give up. Yeah. So lots of possibilities. You're certainly not gonna like it though when Watson does call. Yeah. And obviously calling here with top pair, which is a very strong hand, heads up. Okay, ace on the turn. 7.55 million in the pot, Maria. Mauer has 7.55 behind. Mike Watson checks behind, and it's the seven of spades on the river, pairing the board. So Mauer does not get there. He is left with four high. Nope, he's playing the board. Mike Watson, tens and sevens with an ace kicker. And as we highlighted on the turn, Mauer has pot behind. Might he see an opening? He, he does. does. He bluff shoves the river for 7.5 million. It is a pot size bet. And Mike Watson wants a count. I'm. Okay, there was that ace on the turn, but Mike's hand is still pretty strong. It is, and you know, for Mauer, he feels like if Watson had an ace, he's going to most likely be betting the turn because there are so many draws from the flop that you want to protect. I'm not saying for one second this is in any way an easy call. And if you call and you're wrong, momentum shifts again, and suddenly the advantage is with Leonard Mauer. Equally, if he can find the call here, it is over, and he has won his second EPT title. It's really just about, you know, what type of hands would be willing to check raise the flop and then check the turn and now shove the river. It feels like it's very obviously polarized to trips here, you know, perhaps some boats. Not tens, though, because I think he would have heard from tens pre-flop. You know, some more like fives full, potentially. But again, so many missed draws from the flop. Five time bank chips played. So what? Thinking this through, can he find the call? Can he end it on this hand? Well. Yes, yes, <laughs> he makes the call and we have our winner. An incredible call from Mike Watson to win. The PokerStars EPT presented by Monte Carlo Casino and become a two-time European Poker Tour champion, joining a very select club.